what you are. Oh yeah? Say it. Alpha! Alpha! Vapor! Here, get on my back. Yeah, like that. Wait, I have no words! Hold on, little spider monkey. This is my movie. It's so beautiful! Oh! repainting spirit Halloween masks. So today we're doing pretty much the same thing. Today we're gonna be trying to make this pig head mask into the Roblox piggy. We also got a bat and I ordered a dress. So if you guys wanna see me in a dress, stay tuned to the end of the video. Anyway, let's get painting. So it looks like the Minecraft piggy is a really nice shade of pink like this. So I'm just gonna do an all around pink paint job and uh, see how that looks. That's a very light pink. Okay, so now that this is completely pink. Ooh, this is a nice shade of pink. I kind of like it. It's a lot less scary than the last paint job. So now we simply have to go in and paint the black around his eyes. Let that black paint dry. One hour later. Now we just have to paint his single red eye. Maybe just a little outline. Almost like he has mascara. Well, his is a circle, so we're gonna make this into a circle. And there we go. We have ourselves a real life DIY piggy mask. Let's try it on. It looks pretty fantastic. I mean, it's not as cartoony looking as Piggy. It kind of gives it that uncanny valley, like, really makes it creepy, you know? So I think it's a perfect vibe. So let's try it on. Oh, yes. It smells like spray paint in here. But you know what? The little amount that I can see in my monitor looks pretty good. But you know what? I think I need to add a bat. So let's go and make one really quick. Okay, guys. Now I have this foam bat. It looks like metal, but it's actually foam. Would I be able to do this if it was a metal bat? I mean, maybe. I am pretty strong, but it wouldn't bend back like that. Anyway, so unfortunately, Piggy's bat is not a metal bat that's all rusted up like this. It's actually a wood bat, so I'm gonna paint this to look like wood. Okay, I think this should be pretty easy. I'm just gonna go in and give it a nice brown base, because wood is brown. I'm gonna flip this over. That way I can hold it with my left hand and paint with my right. And just like that, it all already kind of looks like wood, just from the brush strokes. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of black paint in there, just to kind of go in and give it a little bit more grain. Then we're gonna do the little nub part, and I think uh, that ought to do it. Or should I say, that ought to do it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Anyway. Yeah! We have our bat. Now there's one thing we need in order to really pull this thing together. I went ahead and one day this red dress on Amazon because Piggy actually wears a red dress. <laughs> Don't even need this pumpkin shirt anymore. If you guys want to buy that shirt, I'll put a link to it down in the description down below. But anyway, I made sure to get the exact looking dress that Piggy has and I think we really nailed the look. There we go. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> And this is our piggy costume. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one worked. Now admittedly, I've actually never played the piggy game on Roblox. So why not play the piggy game on Roblox? Dressed as piggy. Admittedly, it might be a little bit hard because I only have so much vision out of these eye holes and my hair is kind of blocking my eye on this one. But we're gonna try it right now. Okay, so, um, oh, oh no, my bad, it hit the camera. This is a crazy job, so I'm gonna need to put my hair up. Oh yes, fully immersed in the piggy mask. So we're gonna play this piggy game. I've never played Roblox in my life, so this is gonna be interesting. Well, realistically, I don't need this bat anymore, so. Okay, let's play. What do you guys think of my avatar? I have two hats on, you see? You guys can't even hear me. I got a pirate hat, and I got like a beanie thing, okay? Oh, we have a new friend! 
I don't even know what the objective of this game is. I'm such a noob when it comes to everything. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh my god, is that Piggy? Oh my god, brother! Brother, no! Oh! I died so fast by my brother. My brother told him. Okay, we're, we're gonna replay this. Let's do infection, I guess. You better be ready, Mr. P. I'm coming for you. Wait, so am I killing Mr. Piggy now? <gasps> Wait, so I am Mr. Piggy? <laughs> What a rare opportunity. I need to learn how to like, how do I get Goodbye. No, I exited it. How did I exit it? No. What did I do? What have I done? No, I was the piggy. I f***ed up. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a pig. There's a piggy. There's a piggy. There's, a piggy. there's, a piggy. there's, a piggy. there's another one. Oh. Get away from me. Get away from me. You too. Get away. Get away. I am you. Are you a piggy? I'm confused. Yeah, are you a piggy? What are you? Wait, he stabbed me? I'm so confused. I don't understand this. Anyway, guys, if you guys want to watch me play even more Roblox, let me know down in the comments down below. It's a very experimental thing. I don't know how much you guys really are into this. Um, anyway, let's go on to the next mask. Okay, so next we're going to do this full gas mask. I kind of want to give it almost like a fallout look. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to find a bunch of random stuff, hot glue it on, and uh, paint it all uh, to make it look good. Anyway, uh, let's go find some random stuff to glue on this guy. Let's see. What do I got around here? Um, no, no. Sandbags. <gasps> oh, here we go. Yes. Something like this. Anything in here? Hmm. Uh. Oh, gosh. A 9 volt battery, maybe? Let's try my garage. These look promising. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I just lost it. It's gone forever now. These random boxes seem promising. Oh, and very heavy. Oh, God. Oh, guys, we have hit the mother load of random things. Yeah, maybe one of these. Or maybe uh, one of those. Oh, definitely a couple of these. Oh, these are, oh my gosh. Okay, so now that we have our supplies that we're gonna use to kind of glue onto this mask and decorate it, I'm gonna put it off to the side for a second and take off the tag. That's the first step. Next, I'm actually going to paint this later, so I'm gonna mask off anything I don't want to get painted, which is basically just uh, these guys right here. I'm gonna go in with my X-Acto knives and just kind of clean them up a little bit. Should just easily come off. There we go. Miss a spot right here. That looks better. That should do. Then I'm gonna get some of this tubing from my fog machine and attach it to like these parts of the mask, or maybe even this part. I kind of like the idea of having it here. Just have it go through the forehead. I think I'm gonna have one tube come out and then maybe put something at the bottom here. That's even a little long. Yeah, let's do this. Ooh, I just found these tubes as well. I kinda wanna have one like go to a forehead and then come down to the mouth. I don't know, just have it go in and out all sorts of crazy places. Go ahead and glue it right on there. So I actually went back and cut the tube at sort of like an angle. When it sits on the mask, it sits nice and flat, just like that. See, you gotta re-glue this in place. It's not too bad. Uh, let's do the other side now. Very nice. Ooh, I like that. This kind of looks like a thing. Or maybe something like this. Boobity boop. Can we take this weird bolt nut thing and I'm gonna attach it to this garden hose attachment for you to turn it on and off. But it doesn't look like it'll fit this way, so I'm gonna have to cut this. A little screw right here. I'm gonna try using my little Dremel tool. So I decided I'm gonna do this the old fashioned way. What am I doing wrong? I didn't clamp it down good enough. This is one resilient screw. And it flew off. But, you know what? Mission accomplished. So we took that off. Go ahead and apply a bunch of hot glue to this. And then we add our little guy. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue all around that. Just to make sure it stays on. Put a little bit of hot glue on this part. And we shove this right in there. Oh gosh, it's falling apart. Oh! This whole thing is just a representation of my life. Oh my gosh, falling apart every minute. Now I'm gonna hot glue this weird pipe thing onto the mask right here. Yeah, that's nice and on there now. Next, I'm gonna add these little knobby guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them kind of right here. And to do that, I'm simply just gonna drill a hole and kind of just stick them in. There we go. Now the other one. 
Looking pretty good. Then I got this kind of turning knob thing. I thought this would be fun maybe off to the side over here. Get it back on. Now I'm gonna take whatever the heck this is and combine it with whatever the heck this is. Pop glue that right on. We're gonna stick this right on his forehead. I think we're all set to paint. So before I start painting, uh, these guys just keep falling off. So I think I'm just gonna put these on afterwards. You know what would actually be easier than trying to hot glue these on? Drilling a hole and just sticking the tube in there. And now I'm gonna take them back out because I actually want to uh, maybe put some green stuff in these. Just make it look like there's green liquid going through this guy's face. And now we finally get to painting. So a lot of the fallout masks that I'm finding uh, are kind of like silver like this. I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of silver and this gold paint and maybe a little bit of brown so that I get kind of like this uh, metal shade. Mix, mix, mix. So I think that's kind of what we're going for. Here we go. Whoa! I already like this color. Now I'm gonna go in and carefully paint this uh, tube thing, kind of like this goldish brown color. And while this is drying, I'm gonna put it off to the side, and we're gonna fill these guys up with some green liquid. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I'm hoping that it will just peacefully go through. Just tap that down so it just goes all the way through the tube. Yeah, it's perfect. Now if I could conserve some of this and put it in the other tube, that would be great. Now I'm gonna let these dry for a little bit. I'm gonna wipe them off so that all this green stuff isn't on the outside of the tube. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape. Then I'm gonna take a red Posca pen, flip this bad boy over. I'm gonna fill this in with red. Yes! And I wanna fill in the yellow on the filters. So I feel like this mask actually looks a little too perfect, so I'm gonna paint it a little bit more. But I'm gonna mix some silver and black together. And there we go! But there's one more step. And and that is to add his little slime tubes. Boobity boop. And a boobity boop. And I'm all done. Now let's try it on. Low key, I just noticed this. It kind of looks like Ant-Man. I mean, it's not that far off. Maybe I should make an Ant-Man costume next time. It definitely has potential. Anyway, let's try it on. I literally can't see. I scratched a little bit of the paint out of the eyes. Kind of helped my vision. So this is what it looks like. And this is what it started as. I think it looks really cool. It's not very comfortable to wear. Down in the comments, let me know what you guys think about it. I'm curious to know uh, if you guys like it or not. Anyway. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks like this fine right down there. And if you guys don't give this video a thumbs up, I'm going to have to get you. If you guys like this video and you guys want to watch me repaint even more cheap Halloween masks, um, I actually have a whole playlist of me doing them right here. I think this is like the fourth or fifth one I'm doing. So you guys really like them, so I keep doing them. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ready? Okay, bye. Ah!